Hello Sagittarius. Hello my fire family. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. Look, I'm here with an oracle deck and we are going to do a reading for the month of November. We are looking into November already. We're almost at the end of October, almost at Samhain, uh, almost at Halloween and it's time for us to look into November and see what's going on. So we are going to use this oracle deck and then we're going to use some tarot. If you are somebody who's never been here before and you're just rolling up on all of these shenanigans, welcome here. And uh, please know that there is a sub subscription button down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen where I live. <laughs> if you'd like to join us, I hope you'll hit that subscription button. And uh, if not, thank you so much for your view today. All right. And for those of you who are my ride or dies, thank you so much, Sag, for showing up here. My uh, Sagittarius family, I appreciate you. You are building this Sagittarius tribe, which is starting to get quite large here at Ten of Cups Tarot. Thank you so much for doing that. Your thumbs up matter. All right. So the first card that we're putting down here for the month of November is what is the energy you are bringing into November with you? What is the energy that Sagittarius is bringing into the month of November? We've got life is a mystery. I feel like it tells me that you're supposed to remain, um, although you're supposed to keep your eye on the prize, I feel that you're supposed to remain um, neutral in that anything can happen. Life is a mystery. I feel like instead of leading yourself into the future, you're supposed to be following the signs and symbols that the universe is giving you. We've got the card card number eight, and when you put it on its side, it is an infinity symbol. I feel like the universe is blessing you with clear vision to whatever it is that you need to know, but you're supposed to keep an open mind here um, and uh, being that life is a mystery. Allow it to be a mystery until it it comes clear to your vision. We have the koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. I was just I was just kind of saying that. Spirit does have a plan. So I think that instead of you getting out front and leading spirit, I feel like you're supposed to allow spirit to lead you. We've got card number 35, which is an eight. We've got eights here. So it feels like something really cool is about to happen for you in the month of November. It could be uh, something to do with financial blessings, possibly. Let me get a desk deck here. It's about your intuition. It's about to be a really successful month with the eights showing up here. And uh, it's about you listening to your intuition in the month of November. The first card I'm going to put down, the first tarot card I'm putting down here is what you need to leave behind. What is it that you do not want to bring with you into the month of November? What are you leaving behind here, Sag? What are you supposed to be leaving behind here in the month of November? We've got judgment. So I'm going to say making judgments of others because when we're pointing at them, it's actually pointing back at us, right? So it feels like what you're supposed to leave in the past is making judgments about people you've dealt with in the past. Look, everybody has a reason for the way that they act, for the things that they do and the reasons why they do them. And I feel like it really isn't up to you or I to make judgments on those people because we don't know what their path is. Maybe they're here to do a certain thing and we don't know that. Um, we don't really know what a path holds for another person. So I feel like you're supposed to leave your judgment of others' situations. I feel like you're supposed to, if you've been judging people who maybe have done you wrong, who maybe don't fit into your life anymore, I feel like you're supposed to stop um, judging them. Um, but I also feel like uh, maybe it's um, it's a little bit of um, telling you that it's, it's, it's not important for you to revive old situations. Judgment needs to be left in the past. And sometimes that means that someone can be coming round from the past. I think you're supposed to leave the past in the past, Sag, exactly where it belongs. So what is your, what should your inward focus be this month in the month of November? It's the center of your reading, the heart of the reading. What should your inward focus be? We do have the Seven of Wands. So um, I just did a, just did a, a bit of a, a video over in the membership area and uh, it was about boundaries and when I see the seven of wands it's always about boundaries I feel like you're supposed to be protecting yourself from people who are interjecting or injecting themselves in your life and giving you all sorts of unsolicited advice that's what I always see with that I see the six swords or six wands down at the bottom and we see that this person is trying to protect themselves protect what's theirs protect what's behind them in the door and these people here I feel are giving unsolicited advice information it feels like you in the month of November might have to stand up for something um, but don't forget that spirit has a plan and that life is a mystery so you really won't see that coming you might have to stand up for yourself in some sort of way and what is your outward focus for the month what is the outward focus for the month 
we do have the six of cups so i feel like that's how other people are going to see you in the month of um in the month of november i feel like people are going to see you as somebody who they really enjoyed um the time that they had with you the six of cups is about nostalgia it's you know cups are about love about happiness about emotion it's emotional um memories i feel uh, and other people are probably going to see you as someone who's a little bit nostalgic or you're kind of looking over the rest of the year behind you and how far you've come since this time last year it feels like a lot of nostalgia is what is going to be the outward focus which means i feel like people are seeing that in you in the month of november then uh, the last card i put down is what you need to reevaluate what is it that you need to reevaluate sag in the month of november what do you need to reevaluate we do have the ten of wands how much are you carrying what are you carrying and why are you carrying it it feels like somebody here is by themselves sort of brought to a knee because they're carrying too much it's time for you to let go of some things let's clarify just a little bit here tell me why life is a mystery why is that here life is a mystery tell me about why life is a mystery for sagittarius please so the month of november 2024 We've got the Page of Pentacles. I feel like what's a mystery here is I feel like there's an opportunity showing up here, a very small one, and it might be from a person or a, a, a place of work. It might be from a friend, could be from a family member. But the Page of Pentacles to me is something really small that's just beginning to root or grow in the page, uh, the in, in the Pentacle world. So the Page of Pentacles tells me there's a small opportunity that I feel is going to show itself here. And um, the Knight of Cups, for some of you, it might be a romantic connection. Connection. It might be um, a small opportunity to uh, move slowly towards some sort of emotionally um, connected sort of individual. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, please. We've got the Justice card. So life is a mystery. I feel like for some of you, you aren't expecting new love to show up, but I feel like new love is about to show up. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like there's a an opportunity to maybe flirt with somebody, have a little bit of romantic fun with somebody. It feels like somebody's showing up with a cup, somebody who is ready, I feel. they um, Depending on where you are in your age, this person could be younger than you. Uh, at the Knight of Cups is somebody who is, you know, they're generally kind of in the, in the 30s sort of energy. Um, range of age uh, late 20s to 30s like mid 30s and uh, this justice tells me that this person whoever it is they intend on on getting justice with you life is a mystery and I feel like you're not expecting this to show up at all you're not expecting for these these um, scales to be evened out for you I feel like you stopped looking at this lo stop looking at life like an opportunity of love I feel like you've just got that it's something that you decided to put in the background, I feel. Um, but the thing is, is that this is new love because you're being asked to put anything else that is from the past, keep it in the past. So this is new with the page of pentacles being shown here. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Why is this what you need to leave in the past here, Sag? Your new love uh, interest could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra. We've got the Five of Wands, we've got the Page of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like for somebody here, you are leaving, um, what you're leaving in the past here is a relationship that did not work out. I feel like it, um, it didn't work out. It feels like it didn't work out because there was emotional immaturity uh, on behalf of someone. It's like this person couldn't make a decision about you. They couldn't make a decision to commit to you or make a decision about you. The Five of Wands is here, which is indecision. It's also competition. This person might have had other people in the DMs or in their life. And it feels like they couldn't make they couldn't make a decision about you because they had all of this emotional immaturity here. It feels like this person might be someone who was like overly sensitive. Maybe there was arguments and about the feelings. It feels like um, this person was also probably avoiding getting too deeply emotional with you. And so I feel like this Ten of Cups is telling me that um, something came to an end that you decided to end something and leave it in the past because somebody here just wasn't ready for you.
for some of you, this could be like the, the Ten of Cups could also be a family situation, right? Could be a family situation that you're just, you're kind of over it. You're over dealing with it because somebody here is 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 lacking the ability to make a decision. Um, and it's, yeah, it feels like it's it's competition. So it could be competition with your siblings or competition with your family members. But it does feel like it could be a romantic thing because the, the Page of Cups is in the reverse. I feel like it's this person that you're supposed to stop judging because just because they weren't ready for you, it doesn't mean you're not ready. It doesn't reflect badly on you, Sagittarius, that they didn't want to pick you or couldn't pick you. I feel like it was a complete, like it was immaturity, emotional immaturity, and you don't want that anyway. Like you want somebody who's emotionally mature, right? You don't want the Page of Cups in the reverse. You want the King of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. Um, why is this the inward focus? We have the Lovers, we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Eight of Wands. The inward focus is the Seven of Wands. So, I do feel like, again, it's telling me again here that somebody is um, going to be having an opportunity, I feel, to speak with someone who is going to want to move things really quickly with you. The lovers is here, so it feels like it's your choice, but it also feels like this person is somebody who you will feel very deeply connected to. You'll feel like the energies are just like, why do I know them so well? Like they feel like you, like you two are mirroring each other, mirroring energies. I feel like you don't trust this person right away for some reason. If they are a new person or they are somebody who is renewed themselves, maybe healed themselves, take it as it re as it resonates here. But it feels like it is somebody that you don't trust. Somebody who wants to move toward you super quickly, but you've got the boundaries up. I feel like it's a great place for you to be, though. If you don't trust somebody, you should always have the boundaries up and only give them little bits at a time. But it feels like you you are drawn to this person and they are drawn to you because the lovers is here. So it feels like possibly around mid-month, you might meet somebody who is new. That's what it feels like, a new connection that you feel like you've known for uh, you've known them forever, but you don't trust it because the Seven of Swords is here. You don't trust it. Maybe there needs to be more conversation. Maybe we just need to speak to each other in text for a while and get to know each other before we actually carry on forward. But it feels like somebody here is going to try and get you to move quickly. But your boundaries, I feel, um, are going to keep everything in check. Um, so what should you, what is the outward focus for the month? The outward focus for the month is the Six of Cups, which is sort of interesting. We do have the Chariot. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. And I just spoke about the King of Cups, and there he is. I said, you don't want the Page of Cups in the reverse. You want the King of Cups. And so it feels like here that there is somebody who I feel sees you, because this is the external energy, they see you as someone who could be a potential soulmate, someone who feels like they've known forever. We could be talking about the same thing, or we could be talking about something different. I feel like this person could be a Gemini, this person could be a Libra, this person could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It does feel like we've got, oh, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We've got a lot of energies here. It could literally be anybody. So we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, and it almost feels like this person wants to move forward and have the victory with you. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. They want to have a victory with you. They're feeling like they have a very balanced connection with you, and uh, they feel like they've known you forever. They also feel very emotionally connected to you, that they will have some sort of an emotional victory with you. I just want to say that this person is the King of Pentacles in the reverse. They could be someone who is struggling with their stability, struggling with financial things. Maybe they've lost their job. It feels like this person is somebody who is very invested, um, somebody who's very emotionally uh, aware, emotionally intelligent, somebody who is um, who can sort of anticipate your needs. But this person isn't isn't wealthy is what I'm going to tell you. This person, I don't think that they're struggling, but I feel like this person has had some sort of an impact in the 3D world. Maybe they've had to sell a house or a car. Maybe they've lost a job. Maybe, you know, it feels like with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, it is something that is sort of um, inflicted uh, in the pentacle world. However, being the king of pentacles in the reverse could also mean that somebody is sort of taking a look within themselves inwardly, right? They're looking at you as the outward, but they're looking at themselves inwardly. Am I ready? Do I have enough? Can I support? Can I, um, can I, um, 
can I protect? I feel like this person is somebody who is devoted to moving forward and getting the victory in emotional things with you, but they're not quite sure about the earthly things with you, if that makes sense at all. All right. I feel like I'm supposed to cut one more time. Let's do that. And um, what are you supposed to reevaluate? It's these 10 wands. I feel like something that went on in the past here in this relationship is affecting how you see brand new suitors that are coming about. And although I don't think um, November is going to be all about love, that's what's showing up here. It feels like... Um, it feels like you are going to be meeting new people, um, a few new people, and one of them I think you are going to choose as being the person who you trust the most, who might be protective, the one who is available emotionally, the one who can bring their feelings to the surface once in a while. But I feel like what you need to reevaluate here is this Ten of Wands, because if you're not happy when you go, go into a new relationship, before you get there, you're not going to be happy while you're in it. So it doesn't matter if you've got the King of Cups or the King of Pentacles in the reverse, right? Because if you're carrying all of this, it feels like it, there's something here that you need to put down. Tell me about the uh, Ten of Wands, please, for Sagittarius. We've got the Hierophant, we've got the Four of Wands, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're doing really well by yourself, Sag. I really feel that you've become financially stable in your own right. It feels like you are somebody who is looking really good, taking care of yourself. You've had a glow up. Maybe you've got a business. If you don't have a business, maybe you're doing really well in your place of work. If you don't have a place of work, it feels like your life is going really well. It's very stable. Your money is good. And it feels like your home is is stable as well. I feel like the only thing that's missing is maybe a soulmate. And I feel like there is a soulmate coming in here. We do have the Hierophant here. It feels like you need to learn this lesson. The lesson is, is you need to put down these burdens here. Because if you're this burdened, this is not going to stand the test of time in a relationship if that's what you're looking for. It feels like for somebody here, this could be, uh, these burdens could be um, caused by uh, religion. They could be caused by being stuck or not moving forward or feeling like you couldn't. The Hierophant is somebody who's quite traditional but is also very stuck in their ways. They follow one path, the only path that they think is true. And I feel like it, it almost feels like what you need to reevaluate is maybe you need to become more flexible of your energy, your actions, or flexible of the mind, or what you believe in, in order to be able to find the stability you want with a soulmate, which is the Four of Wands, 11-11. I feel like you've been seeing um, signs and symbols, synchronicities possibly throughout the month, um, but I feel like this person, you're going to meet them probably closer to the end of the month. Um, uh, it could be one of them, that, oh, it could be one of them in the beginning, one at the middle, one at the end. I'm just saying, it does feel like there are a, quite a few people here. One of those people could also be a Taurus. The Taurus could end up being the one who is the soulmate. Um, we do have Gemini who could end up being the soulmate as well but they could have water they could have earth they could have libra um take it as it resonates for you bottom of the deck we have the three of cups look it's going to be a month of celebration of course in the u.s right we have thanksgiving that comes up at the end of the year or sorry at the end of the month of november and so it's going to be preparations right preparations for the holidays get togethers um enjoying people's company maybe drinks and celebration we do have the seven of cups and then we have the queen of swords so i feel what you need is what you don't need is confusion. I feel like you're the queen of swords energy this month and you're going to be organizing things. You're going to be um, being honest and truthful with yourself because I feel like you have a lot of opportunities, suitors, soulmates, possibly more than one coming at you and it feels like that there is um, some, you're going to meet this person out at some place where you're celebrating wherever you've been invited to. So I'm going to say in the month of November, please take as many of these, if you're single and you want to meet somebody, please take as, as many of these um, uh, invitations as you can take. For others of you who are not looking at this as a relationship uh, reading, I feel like you're still supposed to be looking at things, leaving things in the past that no longer serve you, and try not to judge people who are not on your path. That can be a really hard thing sometimes. If we can't change our minds, we tend to judge people. So with a flexible mind, you, you tend to be less judgmental. It feels like for some of you that there are some choices that you're going to make, but you're going to be very careful. Your boundaries are up and you're standing up for yourself. There are decisions 
and choices that are coming. Some of them will be with travel. Some of them will be about money, the place where you work. Some of you with this King of Pentacles in the reverse could mean you're leaving a job for something that you love more, that you need something that is a little more, keeps you a little more in balance um, and keeps you happier. Something possibly that you learned as a child is maybe something you might go back to because the Six of Cups is here. I feel like um, there are lessons that you need to learn this month about dropping burdens that are no longer yours. And those can be energetic burdens. Those can be mental burdens. Um, they could be financial burdens. Take it as it resonates for you. I'm just going to leave that right there. We do have the Nine of Swords. It's time to get out of this energy of the Nine of Swords. It's time for you to make a decision to finally um, connect with that last sword so you can end you can end this period of worry. We've got one in the hand of Libra. So I feel like Libra is the one that brings you balance in the month of um, November. Yeah, it could be the beginning of something very passionate, new and exciting. I'm going to go for now. I'll leave that right here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you. I will go, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Sad. You know who I am. Love you guys. Bye-bye.